We're live. Are we live? Good morning. Good morning, especially early morning for you West Coast West Coasters. Yes, Pacific Standard Time. It is early in the morning. It is nine o'clock here in Houston, which is why we're doing this. Now we are at Quilt Festival. I'm Teresa Coates. I'm the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics, and I'm here with Hawk Hamilton. And we are at Quilt Festival. So we wanted to give you, we would normally do this on Tuesday, obviously, and we wanted to do it this morning to give you a little sneak peek before Quilt Festival officially opens. We were open for a little bit last night for preview night for the class attendees, and today is the first day for the public. So we're kind of excited to be here. I want to show you some things. I want to talk about um, some tools and stuff, and then we'll show you around. But first, I want to remind you that if you share the video, you'll be entered to win and we, at the end, we will choose a winner and give away a kit. So that'll be super exciting. Um, is there anything else I'm supposed to tell them, Hawk? I think that's a great place to start. <laughs> he really has to keep me in check. Sometimes. Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> so today we want to talk, morning, a little, everybody. <laughs> talk a little bit about tools because it's really important. And I feel like Quilt Festival is such a great place to find all sorts of cool tools. Um, so I found one, actually, that I need to... Oh. Shoot, I think I hid it away last night. I'll have to find it. Fomori gave me a new tool to, to play with, so we'll play with I haven't played with it at all, so I can't really share it in the, like, this is great for cuddle, but I think it will be because they told me it would be. So we'll give it a shot. Anyway, it's a great place. Quilt Festival is an awesome place to find new tools and to find new shops. So um, I wanted to show you some of the things that, one, you probably already know about, but two, that are new to me and are pretty exciting. So... We start with cutting. So when we're working with uh, the fabric, we're always going to start with cutting it. We draw the line on the back of it, as always. And of course, if you come see us, we have Sew Together Tuesday pens for you. Do, do, do. Nice. Okay. Genuine Sharpie. <laughs> A genuine Sharpie. Come on <laughs> by. We'll give them to you. Um, so that's the first thing. And then you want to cut the back of it. Okay. We have a few different uh, ways of cutting. And uh, all of my favorites are here. So that's super cool. So I want to show you kind of, but just go in sizes. How's there that? There go. So these are the Kai scissors. We'll go by Kai and I'll show you some of the other scissors that they have. Um, these are their micro serrated um, little bitty guys that I really like. Okay, so micro serration is really important when we're cutting cuddle and all of the scissors are. So these are little ones. These are fairly uh, inexpensive. We'll have to look at the price. I think they're around $15. They're fairly inexpensive and they work really well for cutting the Luxe Cuddle and Faux Furs. So I like these a lot, especially for the Faux Furs because the blade is so short. So and, I like that a lot. And you cut those fabrics with those scissors from the back. Yes, always from the back. So, and that would be something like this um, Lux cuddle. I would cut it from the back. The way that we do it is we just cut just a little bit of the snip, backing. Snip, snip, snip of the backing. Yeah, right. exactly. So that leaves a bunch of this nap still on there that will be cut if you use a rotary cutter or if you use just scissors and just do a big, you're going to end up with um, that all cut off and floating around all over your sewing room. Okay. The other ones that I have here are the Karen K. Buckley's which uh, is a new vendor partner for us. We're very excited about that. I really like these scissors. They also come, my purple ones don't have a cover, but they come with one. These are the same way, do the same thing. Micro serrated also. Micro serrated. And I have those nice big handles you and they, like. Yeah, and they have a, a longer blade. So you can tell there's just differences between them that don't make anyone necessarily better, but might be more suited for you. So I like all of them. These have big squishy handles, which I think are super comfortable. Oh, I didn't know those handles were like almost yeah. like jellies. Yeah, they're squishy. Oh, nice. Yeah, which makes them really comfortable. So they don't, yeah. like it'll push your, if your thumb is bigger, it'll push out instead of pinching on your thumb, that sort of thing. So Got I it. find them really comfortable. I like them a lot. So those are the Karen K Buckley's, as you said, also micro serrated. And then we got new packaging from Fomore, which will tell you, I love this. So they tell you how to pronounce the name right on the package now, which is great. So those are the long name that I always try to remember, the six inch comfort handle razor edge scissors. That's a lot. Number 732, which might be easier to remember. You can find <laughs> these at shows. So we pull these out and show you the difference here. Okay. So these have nice big handles. These handles don't don't squish. They're they're they're, okay. they're more nice size, but they're rigid. Yeah. Got it. They're but nice. also the micro serrated, right? Super and, super sharp. And these are more like the same blade length of these. Oh, gotcha. So see, they're yep. all just slightly different. So really, just find the one that you like best. They all cut beautifully. These are also micro serrated, and um, I'll show you just real quick. 
And as they I understand will. it, they're all sharpenable too. Even though they they're are. even though they're micro serrated, yet you you, you you talk to your it's like butter. It's great. Nice. You talk to it's your uh, your will sharpen them. Right, right. A lot of them will, and Kai will actually sharpen them if they are Kai scissors. They will sharpen the scissors if you just send them to them. They actually yeah. have sharpening here at uh, the show. They too, often right? do at the show. I don't know if they will do micro serrated scissors at shows. Got so, it. But oh, I know okay. that Kai does sharpen their scissors, and I've had them sharpened a few times. So I've been using Kai scissors for probably about ten years, and I think I've had them sharpened twice. So it's not a, like a regular thing you have to do, and it's like it still like ten dollars or something. Okay, so scissors are really great, super important for cutting the Lux Cuddles if you want to not make too big of a mess. If you want to make even less mess, this is my favorite little tool. This is the Ulfa SAC-1, okay? So that's this one, and this is the cute little packaging. And we have them right next door to us in the booth that we're with. So we're with Cindy Serena. I'm going Serena. to slowly pan and, and tilt over to the <laughs> other shop. Nobody gets seasick. Here I go. I've got a lot more to cover today. So I'll try not to move too fast. Anyway, that is the shop here, booth 110. And we're yeah. over here at booth 109. <laughs> and uh, yes, she's got uh, all kinds of fun notions and stuff over there at her yep. shop ready to go. So I know that these blades are kind of hard to find. So if you're going to be at Quilt Festival, this is a great place to get them. Um, Cause yeah, not a lot of shops have them yet. So she does and um, they're available. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was the new uh, tungsten carbide rotary blade from Fomori. So this is a newer product that they have that they've been um, making it even better as they go. And I really liked it. I tried it out yesterday. It gave me one. And I'm going to show you. How many cutting. layers? Well, <laughs> if it were cotton, I would do that. But the thing is with um, cutting poly, it will dull your blades a little bit faster. And that's something that frustrates people. The new blades are super sharp. And they will cut for a long time. The other cool thing about it. There we go. I didn't, I didn't even hardly push. It was great. Okay. They are so sharp. You want to make sure that you don't push too hard. The thing with cutting with the rotary cutter is that you end up getting all of this mess. Totally vacuumable. But that's one of the reasons that I really like to use the blade too. So both of them work together. This, uh, the blade that's in here is super duper sharp. The cool thing about this is that you can send it back to them and they will sharpen that blade again for you. Because tungsten carbide, I guess, is something super hard that not a lot of things can sharpen. Got it. So, it's true. Um, yeah, they, they use will... it in the space industry. We were talking to the the rep yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, they are probably going to be selling the, or sending this product to NASA to use on spacesuits and right. stuff. Right, yeah, because it's the only blade that will cut Kevlar. So that was the, the big thing. But it will cut the, the Lux Cuddle beautifully. It will also cut um, fur and that sort of things, too. Okay, so otherwise, so the ones we've got things cut, we want to be able to pin them. As you probably know, my favorite are the clover pins. We have a couple of different kinds. I have right, mine color coded. Here, let's show the, the fun little pin cushion <laughs> that you arranged for me. <laughs> and now my OCD is on display. <laughs> so <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it. Self-diagnosed, so, <laughs> not real. Not real. But I but, but I do it, like a good pattern does like it so these are the clover pins which i like a lot so i can show you just really quick because i do have the two different kinds here so this one is the kind that comes in the little card that you can find at lots of different shops okay so this one is pink and red all right this one is slightly bent so i'm gonna put it to the side and grab one that isn't because these are a little bit thinner so as you can see i can bend these pretty nicely with my finger make and, them but they spring back they spring back right. just fine but it does mean that they have they have a little bit more bendy so i like them when i'm doing a couple of layers of cuddle so like if i were doing um a blanket i could easily put it through these two layers no problem all right if i'm doing something where it has like the batting the backing and a couple of layers i want something with a little more strength the ones that come in the box are like that so these are those and you can see they don't really they don't really bend I can't get them to bend it all there. And they'll go through numerous layers. So I can fold this again. So that's three layers of cuddle and it will just go right through. Got no it. No problem. Okay. So that's why I like these. They're a little less bendy than the other ones. So I like both of them. The clover pins are the best. You want to make sure that you either get the card that has the red and pink or get the little box that has all the colors in it. 
All right, that's really important because those are the stronger ones. They do make some that have a blue tip that are great, like a blue little flower, but they are for fine fabrics. So they're really great for working with the embrace double gauze, but not for cuddle. They'll just okay. bend. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so we also have um, the stiletto from Annie, of course, because it's wonderful. I noticed that the little cover here is a little goldish now, which might help you not lose it because I lose mine all the time. Um, God, got <laughs> but that it, will yeah. help you not stab yourself when you stick it in your tool bag, which is great. So there was another thing that I just recently got from Clover, which I think is awesome. And so it's this new package of Wonder Clips. So, you know, I love Wonder Clips and they work really well for doing um, the binding and holding the edge when you're doing a throw and all that stuff. But these come in all three sizes in one package. It's a multi-pack. It's a multi-pack. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so let's dump this out. So there you go. So you're going to get a handful. You get six of the big ones, 10 of the standard wonder clip size and then you get 10 of the itty bitties which i find really good for holding little pieces together when i'm doing quilting so i can hold my different blocks together with these guys um they're also good for english paper piecing and some other things we don't really use them with cuddle but these two are great nope these two right here there we go those two are great so the big ones work really well for binding too because they will hold down a whole hunk i stick it in here holds down a whole inch of the, the fabric. So they work great for holding your binding on. And this works really good for holding the binding when you've turned it over to the right side and stitch it down. Works awesome. So both of those are great. All right, so there. Otherwise, Wonder Clips come like this. Okay, you can also get them in a big box. So what I like is that this is the, the mix that isn't going to cost you as much. So you can get started. So if you haven't tried Wonder Clips yet, this is the place to start, okay? Um, and then we had one other thing, which I, Oh, let's see if we can get it to work on this. So this guy Ooh. is a little thread picker. It's something that you find at uh, quilt shows a lot. And it's from a booth down here. With our 110, she's got to be like 114 or 115. 20, she's from the 100 aisle right, right close to us. So if you're a quilt festival, I'll, I'll point you. And this will pick up. Oh, look at that. And, and it drags here. it right out. You know, sometimes uh, if your blade's like a little dull and you press... With mm -hmm. the rotary cutter a little hard, had to press a little harder right. into your self healing you can kind mat. Of get it to... it like, you end up with the fuzz kind of stuck down in your mat, yep. and that pulls it right out. Exactly. And then it would just come right out. Got it. Okay. So a fun little um, thing that you can often find at quilt shows, including this one. All right. So I think that's all of our tools. Do, I, do we have any questions in there? Uh, nothing yet. A lot, right. of people, a lot of people here saying hi. Good, good. good. Thank you. Hi. It's early. <laughs> All right. So let's go for a little walk around. We have to um, be kind of quick because the show is going to open pretty soon. But we want to do a little walk through and uh, show you some stuff. All right. Great. Yeah, was, let's start okay. with uh, we're going to walk right here through uh, Cindy's booth. This is uh, hey guys, custom, we're walking through. custom creations. <laughs> so oh, is, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Hey, hey Mary. good morning, Mary. You're in you're in Cuddle Corner. <laughs> I'm in Cuddle Corner. <laughs> it's not that's right. Nice. You totally are. Got, you got your you. brace on. So we got a ton of finished blankets here and one yard cuts and some different kits and all sorts of things here. Um, so Cindy does both the cuddle and then she is also the Fat Quarter Queen, which, which is, is her that. website, right? Right well, there. The Here we go. Queen is your queen. Yes, Here we go. Are. We're restocking this morning. You Turn guys, up. you guys got pillaged last night. We did. It was a <laughs> night. We're expecting a good day. Good. Good. I am glad. All right. So let's see if we can wander this direction. And we'll show some of the things that we've got. Um, they're here. It's a great place to find new furniture and all sorts of patterns. Okay. So we'll try not to walk too fast because there's a lot to see. Um, but there are 14 long aisles here of goodies. We also haven't talked to anybody about the fact that they may be, you know, it's part of the on a live. So there we go. So you can see that not all the um, booths have people in them yet because we're not technically open. I also, so, you'll notice that some of us aren't wearing masks yet because we're not technically open. As soon as the show opens, we are all masked up. That is true. Yep. We are very good about reminding everyone. Where are we walking? We're headed over. So we to are see, heading uh, the Kai. toward the Kai people. That is our destination. We'll see if they're over there. We might might need to head the other way. Let's see. 
I'm gonna just do a little quick swing by here. So it's only so a get, quarter after, we'll be okay. Okay, right? so tights are a thing that I use with the magnets. Those are super cool. This is a, yeah, I love Quilt Festival because it's a fun place to discover things. You can get all sorts of new tools, new to you tools. Um, the sew ties are those magnets that have like a little bar on the back. It is absolutely quilting heaven. Yes, yeah. concur. <laughs> if you have not been, you really have to come sometime. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All sorts of things. So like this is a shop that just sells towel blanks um, and bib blanks and all sorts of things for embroidery. And of course, there's three or four different long arm manufacturers here. So it gives you a chance to to test things out, see if you like them. Okay. And Some then over really here. nice looking furniture right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's Horn America. Yep, and then we're over to the Foff people. I always love watching what they do. I have a Vintage so this is sort of say there's this problem with fofs though, right? Your fof is like 60 years old or something like that. They, 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 I'm not sure that's a problem. I exactly, think it's lovely. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so here's the Kai scissors. Oh, they're people. not quite open they're yet. So we've open, still got a tool over. Their scissors. Oh, so their scissors. these are the. I was talking to him yesterday. So these are also micro serrated scissors, but they are no. These are the micro serrated oh, ones. Sorry. There we go. These are the micro serrated ones, and um, these are just a higher quality of the purple handle ones that we have. Oh, okay, so gotcha. These are, these are the, these are just a, an upgrade. Got it. So those are very nice. This is the kinds that I have. I have, yeah, a few of them. <laughs> I really like them. So these are the 7230s, which are the smalls. If you've watched very much, you've seen I have the 7250s, the SE, which are the serrated. She, has a, the... she has a Kai scissor problem. <laughs> I love them. I also have these. <laughs> and then they have one more that they don't have available right now, the 7280s, which are even larger. So those are great. These are the little purple ones that I was talking about. Oh, they're $20. $20. All so right. They are here at the show. So all of these are micro serrated as well as you can get them in the, in the little set. So Got uh, they work very well, but they're not as high a quality as you can get. And they also do really and nice rotary, rotary cutters. cutters yeah. Which we, have, we have these guys over in our booth. We do. Yeah. Um, we're seeing them. Okay. Yep. So lots of stuff here. So let's go this way and then we'll head through Down and over aisle. to the quilts. Okay. So it's kind of fun because when you come to Quilt Festival, you can really check out a variety of different things. So like... Fomori people aren't here quite yet. All right, I'm going to turn this around. We're going to okay. see if I can get a, a decent frame up on both of us walking. <laughs> hey, good Hi. morning, everybody. <laughs> Faces, and I know. You get to see all of kind of the stuff that is available. Let's go one more aisle. Yeah. Um, for doing all sorts of quilting and sewing and embroidery and all that sort of stuff happens uh, here, which is awesome. Oh, who's so, this? There's oh, this, here's the bee sewing. This is where we were. This they were kind enough to loan me two baby lock crescendos because you know that's the machine I use at home um, that I love so much in my studio. So they let us use two of them here at Quilt Festival. So if you are at Quilt Festival, you can come by and you can actually sew a little scarf with me or work on the little samples. I have some self-binding samples that we're gonna do and you can come and actually sew together with me, which will be awesome. So yeah, they were super kind, be sewing and they have a few different locations, I think all in Texas and Oklahoma. So yeah. All right. Hi. And they do have a new machine that's coming out that's like the upgrade to the Baby Lock Crescendo. It's not here do, yet. Do you know the name of it? I don't. I don't remember the name of it either. I don't remember what it is. And I like I have a word at the tip uh, of my tongue, but uh, I'm not going to say it just in case. I feel like it starts with an A. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. We'll nope. see. We'll see. <laughs> but they have a new one coming out. I'm pretty excited about it. All Here's right. Here's a little, uh, the grace like we have. Oh, yeah. There's a little, it's almost like exactly like my little mid arm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is ours. Yeah, oh, we just totally have the bigger is. frame. Yeah. Nice. So you can do a smaller frame, and they have some that are tabletop versions. That's what the cutie is. Yeah. See, there's all sorts of stuff here. I really, I love coming because it's always so much fun to discover all of the things. And, and we are still just in the vendor side. We are, yeah. uh, once we get to over to that wall way over there, we're going to cross through, and then we're going to go see some, we're going to go see some quilts. Go see some quilts. Exactly. Yeah, we didn't even get two thirds the way over, maybe. But yeah. the aisles are All long. Right. 
I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of there we go. a I'm lot of things going again. on. Okay, so it's it's one of the bigger events. And last night was pretty united. It was very good. We're gonna see how uh, how many people show up today. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be awesome. Handy quilters here. And there's always places you can buy vintage quilts, which I think is super cool because a lot of us, like, especially if you're a quilter and you have any vintage quilts, the idea that they just go into a landfill or a thrift store is sad. And there are a lot of places here that have them, have them available for us. We just entered Bernina land. Bernina land, indeed. <laughs> oh. This is our Bernina lady. <laughs> Good <Jean>. morning. <laughs> our friends at Cupcake. Wave hi to our live people. Oh, that was strike a pose. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm sure I will be back there to teach at some point. Been there before. Here are the Genomi people. That was, yeah, they uh, they loaned us the machine that you uh, worked mm -hmm. with on the beginner box kits, yep. right? Yep, the little sewist. I can't remember which number it is, but no. it's a Genomi sewist. Yeah. All right. Don't use the machine. It, isn't it? Isn't it great how like Teresa has these relationships with all of the different sewing machine brands? I, I love. Yeah, them. she's Switzerland. It's <laughs> awesome. Okay. There are a lot speaking of, of brands. Sp speaking oh, yeah. of lands, we are now in. We are now quilt in land. So let's actually let's. I'm going to do a nice slow around. Yeah. You kind of see just the magnitude of it. Oh my goodness! Look at this Hasbro triangle. Okay. Sorry, we have oh, to wow. we have to come We're, in to see this one because I'm a go. sucker for half squares. Holy smokes! Look at the pixel size. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna get close. Like, <laughs> I would say they're an mm, inch and a half, maybe square. Inch and maybe an inch and an inch eighth, an inch, inch and a quarter. Just moving over an inch. inch. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna zoom all the way back out again, so you can can you stay in there so we get yeah. some scale. Look at that. That's that's a. <laughs> It is, that's a lot it is a lot and if i remember correctly this uh it's by barbara black who is uh the lady who helped us upstairs in the education department oh yeah got it so that was so this would be a quilt that is typical in what we think of as a quilt it's just a normal quilt i want to take you over here so you can see some of the stuff from uh the studio art quilt associates we're a part of Sakwa. So these are art quilts and art quilts are a whole other thing that people often don't really realize that people do this with textiles. For me, right, the gonna, Sakwa wanna... quilts are really one of the things that makes coming to Quilt Festival special because I see, you look, don't see quilts like this very often. Look I at see the use here. of thread on that, it's so fun. They are really lovely. That might, actually, go... be, that might actually be real pearls in that that's it is, it amazing is lovely. all right here i'm gonna it's called so a microscape they're beads for sure really, all right that's just, fine just wonderful stuff all right and so I the love... rest of this is just gonna kind of go by probably pretty fast sorry i didn't yeah. mean to interrupt no, it's okay. you Teresa. go I was ahead i gonna say i, I love apologize. seeing the different like this like the whole like the shape of this it makes me think differently about quotes and I appreciate that. So this is microscape is the um, the topic or the theme. So every year they have um, a variety of different presentations. So if you kind of scan the ones behind you, that's a totally different. That's the tulip pink uh, quilts that are here. Here I go. So these are all done with per fabrics. So throughout quilt festival, you will see different topics, different sections that are done in different ways. And that's pretty cool. So that's one that was like, I can't remember what it was called, like flying high or something. All of those over there, they have to do with birds. Yeah, there it is, flying high for the love of birds. Oh, nice. This is my section. I, I, I need to come over here and spend some time. So honestly, if you if you get the chance to come to Quilt Festival, plan to have a day that you just get to wander around here. We're going to do a quick little walkthrough and you're going to see that there is a ton of stuff and some mini quilts over there that you'll only get to see a brief little bit here. And honestly, if you take an hour, you won't see nearly, nearly enough. There's just some amazing, amazing quilts. And I love that it just makes me think differently about fabric. And you can see how people, 
kind of, you know, combine things differently and think outside the box. What's the protocol? Um, Because this is probably my second or third quilt show ever, but like I would say I want to see the back. The show's open and I want to see the back of one of these quilts, see what's going on. There are special people in the uh, center here who have a white glove that they can use to turn the quilt so you can see the back. Uh, I think the lady that's up there will let us see the back of the quilt that we're going to stop at. These are gorgeous. All these pictorial quilts. Pictorial? Pictorial? I'm not sure. Check out that lizard. Okay. Come and trying to pan slow, but yeah, like, but that's whoa. a that's a, a Galapagos marine iguana by Sue Sherman. It is hand painted and machine quilted. It says that's beautiful. I'm gonna get as close as I can on that. Look at that. It's that's really, a lot of work. The texture is amazing. Amazing. It's kind of fun because if you uh, if you look, there's like very traditional quilts and then just very, very non-traditional. Love it. I've seen uh, other work by this person. Let's see who that is. <coughs> Patty Kennedy Zachary. And uh, it does photo transfer, which I think is lovely. Really interesting way All right. of mixing things. Here we go. I want to get a nice clean. Not every time are you allowed to do uh, take photographs and videotape either, but this right. year we uh, we definitely have permission to, to take a walk yep. through here and show all of this amazing work. But it's not going not going to be as as good as coming here and seeing it. In person. No, not at so. all. And you can see the different like, yeah the, the themes ex- exhibits. I guess is what they are. Mm-hmm. I love these gray ones. They're so pretty. Oh, and I wanted to show over here. These are the uh, Dear Jane quilts. Oh yeah, you were talking. So about I was just this. telling you about those on that podcast the other day. Right. So these are all Dear Janes, which are something I have started and never finished. <laughs> okay. It may be a you know a fifty year project. I think I've done like eight of them. And then I was like, oh, this is a lot, <laughs> and I stopped. <laughs> I did the paper piece version, which is a lot. So they're really, they're beautiful. That one that you're looking at there is done from Svetlana Kulikova. And it's called Serenity. She's from Moscow. All of these are made by folks in Russia, it looks like. Yeah. It's really lovely. Okay. So that's just a different, if you're familiar with quilting, you've probably heard of a Dear Jane. They're really, they're lovely. I just, I love the way that they turn out so differently depending on which fabric you use. So I wanted to go over and show this last one. That's, we're getting ready for the show opening. So we're in the middle of we're stuff. Gonna we're going to come around here and take and a picture over here. Get, get close would to you, this. Would Good you mind morning. showing us the back? You have the glove, right? You have the magic glove. So we were talking about like who can, who can touch the quilts. You are not allowed to touch the quilts when you are here and they will tell you to back off if you are too close. So she can. So you can go on up there and show see the back of it this is a vintage quilt and it is fabulous oh wow yeah check it out so if you ever want to see the back of the quilt you got to find someone with the glove okay thank you so much all right appreciate it i'm gonna gonna get close on the front back up we can show this whole big thing yeah show the show the close-ups though because they are it's amazing and all those squares are so perfect sorry about the dizzy folks i i will try to learn how to to pan slower. <laughs> it's hard to go super slow. We want to show you everything. We're running out of time. Okay. You want to pan over to that little picture? Keep going. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're having we a are. great time. We are having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining us here today for Sew Together Tuesday on Thursday morning. Um, for Quilt Fest will be opening in half an hour. So we're going to wrap it up and head back to our booth and get that all set up and ready to uh, have some people come in. I wanted to let you know we are here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we'll be heading back to Los Angeles. And in a couple of weeks, we are going to, I have to look at my cheat sheet, in Stitches in Dixon, California. That's November 16th and 17th. And then at the end of the month, November 30th and December 1st, we will be heading to the quilt parlor in Battle Mountain, Nevada. And so you can come see us at either of those. I do have to say Battle Mountain, I looked for it on the map and I compared it to Utah. So for all of you Utah people, 
it might be worth the drive. I'm just saying, we're four hours from Salt Lake. Come on over and see us, okay? So we'll be there then. Um, otherwise, do we have a winner? We, let's see. Let's see if we've got a winner. There we go, we go. Bev, Bev Y. Bev Y, congratulations, Bev. So you are the winner for a quilt kit. If you reach out to us via Facebook Messenger and let us know where to send it, your phone number, email, all of that good stuff, we'll send you a kit so that you can make your own cuddle quilt. And uh, we'll be back next week from Los Angeles. We get back Monday and then we'll be back live Tuesday. We're going to be doing a little wine bottle cover. So getting ready for the holidays and gift giving and um, dinner with friends. So uh, we're looking forward to that one. We'll talk about embroidery a little bit and then how to make that wine bottle cover. So until next week, right? Are we good? We're good. All Happy right. sewing, Happy everybody. Sewing.